and welcome back to the channel on this video first I got first thing I gotta say is how beautiful today is this is an absolute perfect day for me for riding uh, we're sitting at as I record this video at 76 degrees and we're talking about two o'clock in the afternoon so to be at 76 degrees in the middle of the afternoon perfect I love it all right, so what I wanted to talk about in this video is I want to talk about e-bike batteries. And more specifically about do we really need two batteries? I don't necessarily think we do. Uh, sometimes we do and sometimes we don't. And it depends on the rider. I mean, there's a lot of factors that go into how far you're going to get uh, distance-wise on a uh, battery. But uh, but I want to talk more about do you really need a second one or not? Because most commuters, and when I say most, I'm talking more than 50%. Commuters or leisure uh, riders tend to go less than 20 miles on a ride well most batteries are going to get you 20 miles unless it's a really tiny battery i mean the average battery i'd say now you're at least getting a 14 amp hour in most cases um, that's the smallest battery i've ever gotten on a bike i mean there can be some that go down to 10 amp hour but let's just say 14 i mean a lot of bikes now are coming with batteries that are closer to 20 amp hour. So let's say your uh, battery is a 14 amp hour, 48 volt battery, and you're running a 750 watt motor, which is pretty, pretty standard, 500 to a 750 watt motor. And then you start getting up to the 1000 watt motors and, and more. But let's just say you have a 750 watt motor 48 volt and 14 amp hour that that battery and if you're in pedal is let's say you're in pedal assist levels one or two and even if you are a bigger rider heavier rider uh that battery is probably going to get you 20 miles and the only way you may not get 20 miles would only be if you are a heavy rider or say let's say 250 pounds and you are riding with throttle only then yeah you might get a little less than 20 miles but I don't think a whole lot less and that's on a 14 amp hour battery and like I say a lot more uh, bike companies now are giving you batteries that are closer to 20 amp hour with your bike so that's even better still but um so the point I'm trying to make on this is that I think a lot of times you don't really need it. And let's say you are commuting, say you're commuting to work. And maybe when you get to your workplace, you actually have a place where you can plug your bike in. You can take your battery charger with you, I suppose. And taking the battery charger if you have enough time to charge it back up or even if you only have a couple hours you could charge it quite a bit back up and uh, taking the charger would be a lot lighter uh, to carry than to carry a battery an extra battery and the other thing with so with carrying the battery the one thing would be the weight you're carrying that extra weight and hey we'd never want to carry more weight than we have to on our bike because all of that factors into um, how far uh, distance wise you're going to get so not only that though there's going to be the cost so let's face it batteries are not cheap a minimum i say a minimum of the uh, bike value of 30 percent is going to be on the battery usually in the 30 to 50 percent 
is where your cost of your battery would be in comparison to your bike as a whole. So that's a lot of money. So if you have to throw out, let's say it's a $1,500 uh, bike and you have to throw out another $500 for a battery, maybe you don't really need to. Maybe you, if you're only riding within the 20 miles, maybe just go with that. Um, it may not be worth it to get a second battery, you know? So, uh, I would definitely just go with the one battery in that case. But for me, it depends on what bike I'm riding. Well, I don't think that garbage truck saw me, so I wanted to get around him. So, for example, on this bike here that I'm riding right now, the Lyric Graffiti, I am not pedaling and I basically do not pedal this bike. Very rarely have I ever pedaled this bike, almost never. So, I'm going to obviously go through more battery. So, when I purchased this bike, at the time I purchased it, it was uh, a 17 and a half amp hour battery and I opted for the second battery. and I do not remember what the difference was in the price. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. But I paid the extra to get the second battery, so that gave me a total of 35 amp hour. Which for this bike is good. I, I would say if you're only throttling and, you're, and this bike is a little bit faster too, um, then yeah, you'd want the more battery. But if you're going to ride like my Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser, okay, that bike is a 48 volt and it's a 15 amp hour battery. And I have no intentions on buying a second battery because I don't think I'm ever going to go more than 20 miles on that bike. So the 15 amp hour is going to be plenty and I like to ride that bike in pedal assist 3 um, if I'm on the road sometimes if I'm going up a hill like a large hill then I'll crank it up to the highest PAS which is 5 and um, and then also if I'm on a shared path then I'm going to crank it down to uh, 1 or 2 because you can't get going all that fast anyway and with pedal assist 3 it gets you 18 about 18 miles an hour uh, steadily so on a flat and that seems to be a pretty good spot where you're not ghost pedaling and so I kind of like that and that bike would surely go 20 miles uh, on a charge uh, using pedal assist 3 so that bike definitely <clears throat> I would only want one and then uh, the new bike that I have coming the Graffiti X it's going to be like this one where I'm not uh, absolutely not going to pedal that one at all. That's strictly going to be a throttle only bike, but it does come with a 40 amp hour battery. And for the cost of a battery, I don't think I'd want to buy a second one for that because the battery's going to be in excess of a thousand dollars. And so, and plus, where would you carry that? I mean, it, it's, it's going to be an awful heavy battery to carry. Um, extra so there's no way I would want to carry a second battery like that I'd rather carry my battery charger in that case but that's going to do it for this video I just wanted to talk about a little bit about batteries and um, I think it's if you're only riding up to 20 miles commuting or leisurely riding or going to the grocery store uh, I think 20 miles is probably a lot right for you uh, in a day I mean some are going to say yeah I go 40 miles in a day well that's you're uh, the minority because I think the majority of folks out there are going to ride within the 20 miles like more than 50 percent and so uh, hang on to your money save the weight uh, to have to carry on your bike and if at all possible just bring your charger if you have a place to charge it and you're going to be there a while so that's going to do it for this video. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell. And if you want to uh, subscribe to the channel and help support us, 
please do. Thank you very much for doing that. Just hit the subscribe button. And also, if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.